All right, you can point outside, I guess. All right, and welcome back. It is after lunch, as promised, a little late. Walking you through the Outlaw 37 GP, but Mark Andrus, a very busy man today. Appreciate yes. it. Now, Thank you, you and I uh, took some time to walk through this yesterday, and we had some some signal issues, and it was glitchy, and we didn't get people all the information they wanted because of the glitches. So Mark came to me and said, "Hey, we have to do that again. We got to let everybody know about this." And while we're at it, we're not only going to do the 37 GP, we're going to do the brand new Outlaw Class C 29J. So we got a lot of ground to cover. So let's start in the we 37 do. GP on the. Well, I guess this is this is a ramp. It's a patio. It's it's a little boat. Yeah. You know, in in the patio position in all our outlaws, you're going to have 1,500 pounds. In a down position, mm -hmm. it's going to be 2,500 pounds on the A and 1,500 on the C. Um, with this new floor plan, you have the side porch mm -hmm. and then the rear porch. But this will be 1,900 pounds due to all this steel structure we've put in here, along with the new glass door along with the new side patio. Um, the steps are a nice addition. You can also order those for your current outlaws. Um, that's not a bad option for you through a dealer, but that's going to be basically the, the, the standard features. 1,500 on the C, okay. 1,500 on the porches, 2,500 pounds on the doors down mm -hmm. in the rear, okay. and then 2,500 on the RB, and the BG, and then 1900 on the GP. So that makes it a little confusing, but um, we're always here to help. Uh, reach out to Thor Motor Coach or your local dealer, and they will have those answers for you. So as we're out here, one of the things people were, were they were asking about was, how are you going to have room for everybody? Well, with this, you have room for your grill, and I mean, you could set up your grill over here, yeah. and your table, your buffet table, you could people back here. I mean, there's so much room with these dual porches. This is really just a, a, an innovative design. Yeah, I don't think room's going to be the issue. Not at all. It's, it's going to be, be people. Well, no, it's going to be deciding who you leave at home <laughs> and what you take. <laughs> yeah. You know, so I think, you know, the biggest thing, there's so many things you can do with this. I've got a gentleman that camps with his grandkids and fishes off the back porch over oh, a small nice. pond. Um, so just remember that the, the BG is going to give you an 84 mm -hmm. inch height. This is going to be 6'2". Mm -hmm. um, so the, the main thing is to remember that this outlaw is going to fit your needs no matter what it is. And that's, that's what I stress to you guys the most is you've got so many different looks, so many different things you can do with it where you're not buying a, an expensive RV, RV and not getting exactly what you want. And no. back here we have all the amenities. So if you want, if you like today, it's it's rainy, but it's a nice breeze. So we have the awning out. You can close the bug screen. You can sit back here. You can watch TV. You got the radio. So you really you have your own air conditioner. This is kind of like your own little getaway, your man cave, if you will. There you do. And the air conditioner, remember that's for um, LP or gas. Mm -hmm. um, that's not going to get into the coach. That's why we designed this right. coach with three ACs. And as we walk on through, oh, I, I, I do have to point out the, I love this little, the tool Night work, workstation. Yeah. I've got yeah. a few clients that have made this into a nice little bar, uh, storage <laughs> nice. area, you know, whatever it might be. We've got some nice ports to charge your uh, ATVs or mm. whatever that might be. You know, mm. you'll have power right there, Bluetooth radio. And two, you know, with the Firefly, you're going to be able to, to control a lot of stuff, the rear uh, controls. So, each one of these is going to be a remote, so the nice thing about this, you can have a master light off. Yeah. You can let your awnings off on the side. There's just so many features you can do with this that I like about the Firefly as well. Yeah, right now we're actually using a remote to close the shade to the sliding glass door. Just like that. As we walk in, we'll take a walk in through the garage here. we got a step that leads right up to the loft here, and it looks like we got got... A nice big sleeping area up top. We do. We took this out in the BG, and I, and I got a lot of complaints about that. People love the loft. Um, you know, you're always going to have that unexpected guest. Or I've got owners that would prefer to sleep up there instead. Um, so the loft's going to just give you that added addition mm -hmm. to put more people that want to come. All right. And as Tom carefully climbs back down, he's loaded with gear today. Uh, we stop, I'll let you slide on through. We'll uh, show everybody the uh, bathroom here if you want to take a look around here. Big, big, tall shower in here and a lot of storage room. One of the biggest I've seen, you know, bathroom, storage, it, none of this is going to be an issue for you. 
Um, I think the issue is going to be picking out which floor plan that works best for you and your family. That's tough in the outlaw because you got a lot of fabulous choices. It I is. guess it depends on how it's, it's all how you want to use it. It is, and, and I think that the main thing the outlaw does is it allows the customer to use it whatever mm -hmm. uh, thing they're into, whether it's in the winter, whether it's in the summer, the spring, the fall. You know, I don't mm -hmm. know, maybe it's uh, hockey, soccer practice, you know, baseball games, sitting out entertaining 20 uh, kids. I don't know. There's so many different looks you can do with this product. And as we uh, swing around here, we got a large closet. Now, is this a uh, washer dryer hooker Yeah, too? all our Class A's with the louver doors, I like to say 32 foot and over, okay. are going to be prepped for a wash and dryer. That's a good way for me mm -hmm. to keep up with it. Sure. But when you see this, you're going to have a power supply, uh, hot and cold water, and then you decide if you want to put a vent or not. Okay. And uh, walking into the kitchen here, we got the uh, stainless steel fridge. We got a full, fully furnished kitchen here. Walk us through what we got. We do. You got the, the induction heat, so you did shake a uh, different type of pan. But what I like about going to induction, you get rid of the oven, you're gaining tremendous storage compartments on this RV, and then you're going to go with a convection that's going to do your baking, whatever it might be, and not heat up that RV. And still, Always remember, if, if, if you guys want an oven, it's easier to put an oven in down the road than mm -hmm. to take one out. Well, and the other thing, too, when you, with the oven, I mean, you, you're taking up space, you're heating up your motor home, and I can tell you from personal use, and you can look at our YouTube channel where we've done our, our mobile meals and we have cooked with local restaurateurs, former White House chef, and this is a fully functional oven. I mean, it bakes, it roasts, does the same things, Save you space, and you don't heat up the motor home like you would with the oven. It's just not easy it's as a that. great addition. Easy as that. Cool. And uh, we got the big screen TV here. We got the sound bar, the uh, Cuervo, not uh, not included. No, no not, included. not included. That, that would that's be an long. option. They have to keep us honest today, so that's just going to be water today. But I'd like to to show you the yeah. drop down bunk. Yep. You know, I think this is the, the the biggest thing that we're doing in the industry. We've been doing this drop down bunk now for approximately three years and you know there's a lot of new stuff out there um, and this is going to be there for you and it's also going to give you a nice place to sleep mm -hmm. um, if you don't want to do the loft or you don't want to do the couch flip over it's going to give you an addition uh, just another option like I said we're not going to limit you to your availability well one thing I like is you talk about options or just the options that we put in here with this seating arrangement. I mean, you have the nice L-shaped sofa, and the great thing about these pedestal tables is you can arrange them if you only want one here, you want to put one up there. I mean, you really have a lot of seating options depending on if, you know, maybe the kids are going to be up here and they're going to be playing a game. You've got the laptop, well, if you've got a laptop out, you're using the laptop yeah. workstation, easy. So it's really designed to be not only toy hauler friendly, which is, I mean, you're not going to do better than the uh, the outlaw, but family friendly as well. Well, and I like it. Well, you know, you got, if you got a booth, you, you got four people sitting at the mm -hmm. booth. That's great. But you can have two adults sitting mm -hmm. here and then maybe four more here. And everybody's got, you know, the TV or whatever the yeah. focus point might be. But again, if, if it's just you and the, you and the husband, you've got a nice L lounge yeah. to lay back on, a nice place to keep the remote yeah. and that, that nice beverage. So Again, it just is going to give you the option to fulfill whatever need you have. And as we uh, walk outside, we do want to point out uh, that, well, let's talk about uh, as, we, as we walk out, you'll notice uh, we got an inverter in this as well. All right, that's going to convert over to, to 110. We do that in anything over 32 foot in a Class A, uh, also in anything over 30 foot in a Class C. Um, and the view of that's an 1,800-watt inverter. This coach has four batteries. I've got clients out there. Uh, getting a lot of different ranges. We like to quote six to eight hours mm -hmm. uh, with with two four batteries. You're going to get more than that, but it depends on how many lights you got right. on. You have to compromise, but you can set that on your auto gen start for mm -hmm. time, temperature, and voltage. And believe me, I I've driven these all over uh, the Northeast, and with the alternator, my refrigerator's running and cool, and it's and it's not on anybody else's dime. You know, nice. the alternator's yeah. charging a battery. When I get to where I'm going, I've got full charge batteries, mm -hmm. and I'm going to get at least six to eight hours, depending on how I'm operating the coach. Nice. And as we uh, take a walk out here, uh, we do want to point out we got uh, on this, we got the, uh, the the full body paint, and I love this color scheme, this blue, just. Well, in your we face. do the Sickens full body paint yeah. and a lot of different uh, of our coaches. And the main thing to remember with Sickens is it doesn't cure. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're walking down the side of this coach, and and you know. Just hit it with your watch, yeah. say, you know. 
you can rub that out because it doesn't harden. Mm -hmm. And the main purpose in that in an RV is you're not going to get stress cracks off the belt line. Because if you put a paint mm -hmm. uh, on a 38-foot motorhome that hardens and you're flexing, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to get stress cracks like we've seen in the past. But with Sickens paint, that's the best automotive paint in the world, as simply to put it. Nice. And we'll walk up through here. We got uh, awning up here with integrated LED lights. We got uh, a TV with a sound bar now. Yeah, and, you know, these are going <laughs> to swivel and pivot. Uh, they're going to do admit sound through the outdoor speakers and all 18 products. But what I'd like to point out mm -hmm. is your awning's already set, man, for your, for your porch. So you've got nice coverage over your porch. You've got a nice area here. And still, we mount the awning on the exterior mm -hmm. of the slide to maximize the depth of that uh, uh, awning. Yeah. So it's not mounted up over the right. awning. And this awning comes out as well. We just have the awning from the Challenger out. We're trying to maximize our uh, space with the uh, rain we've seen in and out today. Uh, as we're uh, up here, let's talk about what uh, we got under here at the uh, Triton V10. You know, there's, there's two types of V10s. Um, ever since uh, 2016 Ford chassis came out with a 6B transmission, um, I can't tell you, if you haven't driven this gas, don't mm -hmm. knock it till you try it. Uh, I've logged over 6,000 miles on uh, an Outlaw and a Challenger, and that's a 38-foot gas underneath the V10 engine. And with that new transmission brake, mm -hmm. uh, it's phenomenal. But the difference would be a Class C would be a two-valve V10, okay. where a Class A is going to be a three-valve V10. And I think that's the biggest mm -hmm. misconception that people are looking and saying this is the same engine versus another when it's not. Mm -hmm. That's that way across the board in the industry. Mm -hmm. A Class C is a smaller block uh, mm -hmm. V10 engine versus a, a bigger and a Class A. And it just so happens we have a Class C right here. It is the no, brand no. new Outlaw 29J as we uh, walk up the uh, the ramp here. Um, and you can see it's been raining all day. It's it's nice, and the nice thing is it's it's got uh, a texture on you, yeah. so we're not we're not slipping. It's not too not bad. Slipping. We put the Happy Jack yeah. in the and the 29J as well, so that's going to be a power sleeper. Mm -hmm. um, you guys are familiar and seeing that in your fifth wheel toy haulers and it's not a bad look for the rear of the garage. <laughs> Tom's walking up there full of gear trying not to uh, to drop anything but we'll get a shot from that from the inside looking out here and uh, let's talk again uh, about capacities on uh, this with the ramp down in the garage. No, I do and you're gonna have 1500 pounds in the rear of the Class C again in the porch you're going to be 1,500 pounds in a porch position mm -hmm. on any outlaw, but in the down position, simply we rate this at 1,500. So again, that's going to be 1,500 pounds in the rear of the mm -hmm. C outlaw. And just like uh, the the big brother, if you will, we got its own AC back there for the uh, for the garage. We do. Uh, and one thing that I like that uh, that we've changed here, uh, the little. I mean, boy, it really just cleans that up, makes it look nice. I yeah, a propane connection. We did. We had that drop down. But, you know, new for 18, we, we always look at what helps sell our product. Mm -hmm. And we're putting the LP connection on all 18 Thor products. And, and I think that's a big deal because everybody's going to cook. If you're not cooking an RV, you're not doing it right. right. Um, uh, Montiel wants to know, is uh, there a central media center that will play a DVD? on uh, all the TV. So it depends on how they're, they're, they're wired and what coach you have, right? Right, most of our coaches, good question. The front TVs are gonna run consecutive HDMIs in one compartment, and then your rear TVs will be usually be separate. Okay. Um, if you wanna go with satellite system, we've got EGS still in a, in a roof for you to do that, but it simply d depends on how you wanna equip the coach. Uh, okay. You know, I've got customers riding around with um, they're, they're fully unlimited, watch 200 channels at 70 miles an hour. <laughs> versus taking a little tailgater and, and sliding it out as well. All right, and as we uh, take a look, we got uh, the outdoor TV under the awning. With it locked. With it locked. You know what, though? I happen to have <laughs> keys. Always have my keys. I think this is, is this the gray one or the purple one? That's it's the gray the one. one. There That's you go. one road side two. Again, sound's going to admit through the TV for uh, anything 18 and above. All right, and uh, the one thing that you're really noticing here that I, I love that we did uh, with this is the amount of seating and the amount of space because this really opens this up. Well, for you guys that like the 29A that we were designing for, it's a great floor plan, mm -hmm. still is. There's dealers out there that still have it. But for 18, what you have to understand with the new swivel seat option in Class C's, 
um, Thor as a design team is going to look at ways we can make more livable space. Mm -hmm. And so to captivize the two seat swivel, we simply made the slide out deeper and shorter to give us more livability in the living area. And, and I think that's key. And we give in the option of not having a booth sticking way out here and taking advantage of having more space to do what we want. And you got different places where you can put the pedestal tables depending on what you have going on. And both of these convert into a bed, correct? Yes. All right, and then you got the overhead bunk as well with the new net, which is great to give the, the little ones that sense of security. You know, I grew up riding up there. I think yeah. that's great. I think kids should be up there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's fun. I mean, it's that's, that's what it's all about. Kitchen set up very nice. You got, uh, I love the, uh, the inserts on this fridge. You got the flip up uh, countertop extension and your cooktop. You got your microwave. And again, uh, just maximizing storage space in your kitchen. Right. It's not a bad little design. Again, there's a lot of different features mm -hmm. and options you can do with these little coaches, mm -hmm. whether it be dog show, arts and yeah. crafts. You know, a lot of people out working on the, on the road nowadays, yeah. and it gives you options to do what you want. Uh, what people want, you know, just to move around, do what they do. Yeah, the, 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 it's, the people think, oh, well, a toy hauler, I don't have motorcycles or anything. You don't need that. I you mean, don't. you know, it's, 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 it's however you want to use it with uh, offices and, uh, you know, like you said, dog kennels. And uh, into the bathroom here, just a lot of room in here with a lot of storage once again. And, you know, it's set up for what you need. This coach is going to equip with come, you know, four-point jack system. It's got rapid camp that's going to allow you to operate your awning, your jack, start your generator. Um, so this, this camper is going to come fully equipped from Thor. You know, that's one thing I'd like to remind you guys is Thor likes to have everything standard on mm -hmm. all our – we have no options. You know, there's just right. a few things that you can do. But, you know, we realize that our customers need slide toppers. They yeah. need jacks. They need all this stuff. So we're going to make sure we make that in part of the standard pricing so a customer is getting everything they need. So speaking of customers, David uh, says he's looking at an RB. We have an RB up here. Yes, we'll show David we real did. quick. David, let's take you through uh, while you're watching here and you're thinking about it. Let's talk about uh, the differences and what sets the uh, RB apart. So You know, uh, the main thing with the RB is we're still going to allow you a 10-foot box. It's got the loft. And... The one thing I like about it is you're going to have the bed down. Okay, you're going to have a nice sliding glass door here, mm -hmm. but you're also going to have the twin couches that fold up, but we have the loft. So you remember your golf cart guys, they make a kit that you can drop it down, but remember you can put two, two Harley Davidsons yeah. in here. But another thing I really like is you can put the, the Harley out on the porch at night, mm -hmm. um, whatever it might be. Um, to do that as well. But the main feature with the RB is going to have the bed down mm -hmm. and still have the loft capability mm -hmm. and have the booth up front as well. And uh, as we go through, you do have the loft and you do have the bed, uh, the bed back here, queen this bed. This would be correct? RB, you know, yeah. rear bed. Rear bed. See, you know, GP, I knew it meant for something. Garage porch, BG, big garage. That's how you're, see, I, 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 I there was a problem with somebody. Yeah, yeah. Right? Somebody does. Somebody's got to inform me. But up to the loft, you got the multiplex, you got the lot of storage, you got the TV, so you got the nice big bedroom back here. Right. I mean, it's just the best of both worlds. Again, the loft. Um, this is going to be our Newport cabinetry. This is the lightest run of our cabinetry. Then we're going to run into a Pacific. That's going to be your medium. Milan's going to be your darkest. And remember, we're running all real wood and all mm -hmm. our Class A's. The Class C's won't be, but. This is going to come out of a, a company out of uh, Walkerusa that does all this for us and all our product lines. Very nice. Uh, we'll take a real quick. I know you got uh, you got to run here in a few minutes, so we won't keep you. Nice bathroom. We got uh, all the features in here, and again, very large with the skylight. And real quick, uh, we'll wrap things up here. I just wanted to get uh, David a look here, as I know. Split David's bathroom gives oh, you see, a that's bigger nice. shower. Yep. Um, you got the booth, the oversized booth. You still got the drop down bunk, so that's going to be here as well. Um, both the chairs will one rotate in all class A's. We're going to have the new big head screen there, HDMI, automatic leveling. I mean, I can keep going on and on and on and on. And so if you'd like more information, I know you got to run. I saw a busy guy out here. Thank you very Thanks much. We'll time. be in touch. And uh, if you'd like more information, we do have all of the information now up on ThorMotorCoach.com. The big question we get is, what does this cost? MSRPs are on the website, so click on Build My Own Motorhome. 
built in, and you can do that. Shop motorhomes, however you want to do that. It'll give you the MSRP. It'll give you all the specifications. There are videos attached to that that Tim and I have done to give you kind of a walkthrough of each of the floor plans. So go ahead, check that out. It's a great resource for you. We're going to be taking a look at some other floor plans. If you have any questions, you have any requests, we want to make that happen for you. This is the week to make that happen. If you're thinking about it, like David, the experts from the factory are here to answer your questions. So let's make that happen for you if we can. And we'll see you back here in just a few minutes. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody.